tri is what that's a keyword which i'm going to use to define the tri block so whatever the logic that you wanted to execute in this program i will be placing inside this tri block how will i get to know that i will be getting arithmetic exception or i will be getting array out of index exception how do i get that so for that reason guys so you will be having multiple catch blocks Hello everyone I welcome all of you to the yet another interesting session in the concept of managing errors and exceptions so guys let's check what i have in the session for all of you so in this agenda i will be discussing a program with respect to the try and catch exception handling so in the previous session we have seen the general syntax how exactly we can implement the try and also exception handling but we have not discussed the program with respect to that right so most of you were asking me so could you please tell us how exactly we implement the concept of try and catch block along with that i will also show you one more concept which is related to the multiple catch blocks how do we implement this and how exactly the c hash common exceptions is going to dealt with respect to the program is what i'm going to discuss with all of you in the session today so guys are you all ready with me so take a notepad next to you and make a note of the points which i'm going to explain to all of you right so i have taken a program here as you all know that in the first line i have taken the namespace there's no big deal in that we have been discussing this topic since the first session so after that i have a keyword called class this is a keyword that i use to declare any class so fine followed by i have to give a space then i have a name of the class that i have taken it as a error okay you can just give it as error so you don't have to use number so i have just taken the number all right so fine we have uh, given the name of the class then followed by observe i have given public static void main so this is going to be the main method for this class so fine so after this i have declared some of the variables a b and c so i have initialized the value for a b and c as well and then after that i have declared two more variables of type int that's going to be x and y so fine what's a big deal in this uh, we are uh, uh, we have come across with all this concepts in the earlier uh, days of the session but uh, you have told that you are going to discuss about the concept called try and catch block so what are you trying to discuss yes i have the concept of try block now so observe here i'm going to type try try is what that's a keyword which i'm going to use to define the try block so whatever the logic that you wanted to execute in this program i will be placing inside this try block so this logic will get executed so guys once i perform this operation so it will show me the exception so guys the exception which is thrown from this try block will be handled in the catch block so how do i define the catch block so please observe the keyword that i have to use here i have to use the keyword called catch and then within the parenthesis i have to mention exception and the object of this exception so make sure so this catch block will catch the exception which is thrown by this try block is what you need to remember so once it catches the exception so it will print the statement whatever you have mentioned inside this catch block is what you need to remember so for after that i will be executing this statement and then finally i will print the y value is what you need to remember so fine this is a simple program which i have uh, demonstrated with all of you to explain the concept of try and catch block so now let's understand how can i have multiple catch blocks so let's check that with the next program so guys the same program i have what is that you need to observe here is sir how do i know that i will be getting the particular exception in the previous session we have discussed multiple exceptions right how will i get to know that i will be getting arithmetic exception or i will be getting array out of index exception how do i get that so for that reason guys so you will be having multiple catch blocks where you can handle multiple exceptions so how do i define that observe here so guys i have taken the program and here i have declared the variables whatever i have and i have one try block observe here all my logic which i have in this program i have given within side 
or inside the try block is what you need to remember. Whatever the logic that you wanted to execute in the program, so you have to specify that inside the try block is what I would like to mention at this point of time. So fine, after that, I have the catch block. So in the catch block, what happens, as I told you in the previous program, so guys, we used to write the exception. Suppose if it is not particular, so we just mention it as exception, but here, particularly, I'm defining the catch block for our exception. Say, for example, I have arithmetic exception. For this exception, I'm creating object E is what you need to remember. Suppose if this try block is throwing you an arithmetic exception, so that exception will be dealt by this catch block is what we need to remember. Suppose if I have array out of index, so for example, I have a exception here so index out of range exception so if i have that exception which is thrown by this try block so that will be dealt by this block that's what you need to remember and then followed by i have array type mismatch exception if that is the exception that will be dealt by this so like this observe i have one try block but i have multiple catch blocks is what you need to remember so like this you can have n number of catch blocks that will be handling the exception which is thrown by this try block is what you need to remember at this point of time. So guys, with this, I've come to an end of the session. So hope you will take care of your health. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.